Well, hello everybody and welcome to another happy hour live right here coming to you uh, from uh, Miami, Florida. And uh, is this working? Yeah, you know, I'm, I, I don't know. For some reason, it won't let me share uh, the, the live feed on Facebook. So if you guys can share it, uh, let me know and, uh, and um, yeah. Spread the word because uh, for some reason when I was doing it on the phone and today I have two cameras as you can see uh, I could I could do that and now not even there. It, it says that nobody is watching, but I'm, I'm sure you, you you guys will show up At some point is this is the happy hour live where I am today. The, the point is uh, oh here it is Hey, <laughs> I'm still learning Happy Hour Live. And today, the, the idea is that I'm, I'm going to sh uh, share with you a little bit of my process. I saw another YouTuber, you probably, f uh, for some of you follow him, his, his name is Simon, and he did that uh, on a live video. And I think it is good to do it on a live video because uh, I could answer your questions. Okay, I put it on my on my Facebook page. Now, I, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know why. That's not what I wanted to do. Happy hour live. And I'm titling this episode How the Sausage is Made. Okay. Yeah. I'm tweeting. Close. And I'm also going to put it on my regular uh, Facebook. And now we have 16, 19 of you watching. Well, welcome, everybody. I was taking care of some uh, business here, uh, sharing, spreading the word uh, about what we are going to do. And, and please let me know if you can hear uh, well the audio. I have another camera here. It looks much better. I don't know why Apple puts this. Well, this this, is, uh, this computer is a little old, but I don't know why, why Apple puts these uh, crappy cameras on their computers. They should be ashamed of themselves. And uh, here I have my iPad. Maybe I can follow the chat on the iPad. Good evening. Okay, can I zoom in? Oh, yeah, look at that. Great channel. Thank you very much. Luis Cantero from Argentina. Yay. Hello, Miami. Hi, Robert. We'll be in your area tomorrow. All right, welcome to Miami. And uh, we have uh, from Orlando. Sounds good. Hi, Robert. How are things? I hear you good. Thank you very much. Yes, from Mount Dora. Yeah, I, I, I really like Mount Dora. I can't wait to, to go to Mount Dora once again. Where's your next destination? Well, I wanted to talk about that, among other things, because I wanted to, I wanted to talk about that. And I wanted to talk about... Um, I wanted to show you my process. You know, I have here Final Cut Pro. I know we don't usually uh, eat um, Kraft macaroni and cheese, but well, that's the scene that I'm editing... Not the video that you're going to watch on Sunday, the video that, the video that is coming up the next uh, following Sunday. So my next destination, and uh, that's the last uh, comment there, I don't know why, is here. Uh, let me show you this screen. Fall fol foliage. And I was thinking of making a road uh, trip up north. You know, right now, it's, uh, this is a pretty cool website because it tells you the, the, the peak foliage. For the will, I can't pronounce that word for some reason. Well, we are right now up September 24, and you guys up north, uh, let me know if this is real. This is for real. I guess in the mountains, uh, in the Smoky Mountains, uh, it is peak foliage. That's where it is right now. And of course, up in, in Maine, well, actually near peak in the Smoky Mountains, and uh, and then up in Maine, it's uh, it's, uh, it's uh, okay. yeah, fully fully. Uh, we got it blossomed. The, the, the foliage has blossomed. Hello from South Carolina. Where are you heading out again? Arvin um, to the Blue Ridge in October. Well, uh, I'm thinking the Blue Ridge. I, I don't have a set destination yet, but I want to see the fall foliage. I've never actually seen fall foliage. I mean, I've seen snow a handful of times in my life, and uh, and uh, that, that that's the the trip. If you had guys have any suggestions uh, anywhere, you know. Uh, um, Let's see, mid-October, we, we, that will be mid-October. It looks like northern Atlanta, I mean, northern uh, Georgia is going to be peaking and northwest uh, South Carolina is going to be a uh, peak foliage. So probably around that area because that's more or less uh, the time frame that we're looking at, mid-October. Uh, so um, that's the next trip. 
but still I still have a bunch of videos to edit from the current trip and that's what I wanted to, to talk about a little bit Ohio foliage is changing early this year have you ever thought of going to Disney Fort Wilderness I went a few times it's really nice yes uh, Disney is actually is, is, is actually way up there at the top of the list but um, it's, it's almost booked. I mean, it, I, I, besides the fact that it's a very expensive campground, uh, it's always good. Hey, uh, uh, our moderator, Eric O, is here. <laughs> and uh, patron as well. Uh, Zion National Park. Yes, Zion, I want, I want to go, but Zion is way too far for, for like a one or two week trip. So um, Zion, I might go when I go next year to VidCon uh, that I want to go in June. I might uh, do the, that cross-country road trip and uh, we'll stop by there. Hey, good to see you, George, in North Dakota. I'm going to go to North Dakota. I, I'm, next year, I might do the sugar beet harvest. I don't know. I'm thinking about uh, it's, it's starting to do the, those type of things that our viewers uh, do. Uh, big hello from Liverpool, England, the land of the Beatles. Uh, very, very, very cool. Okay, uh, in, a, in a few minutes here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you um, the process that I use uh, to to make uh, my videos. Because a lot of people have asked about that, and it's 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 uh, fairly simple. It's just time consuming. By the way, today I'm drinking um, wine. This is um, Alamo, it, and, and the, the Alamo has a Malbec, and this is a Malbec blend. This blend with, uh, I forgot, it's, it's mostly Malbec, but it has a, a bit of Tempranillo and some other grape. Um, what's the second most important uh, Argentine grape? I, uh, it, the name escapes me right now. But anyway, it's a good everyday wine. They have it at Publix. And I like it. So let me show you. Let me show you. A little bit uh, what I do here with my videos and for that I'm going to open up a Final Cut Pro oh, well, first actually even before we st I start editing the videos it all begins with a word document believe it or not that's it and that's a uh, actually let me see if this works if this works I'll be surprised No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Thinking of going to Havana, Havana Harris tonight for dinner. You've been? Yes, I've been to the to Havana Harris. It's pretty good uh, down there in Coral Gables. Uh, I don't get too drunk, but yeah, I won't. And we gotta go somewhere less expensive and more naturalistic. Just my two cents. Yeah. No, I do want to go to Fort Wilderness at some point, and um, I hear it's like the ultimate campground, you know, amenities wise, and it's Disney, so I'm sure it's well made because if, if Disney does one thing. Is they make the experience as as good as possible. It's a pleasant experience, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it's not. It's it's on it's on the, it's up there on the list, but it's not on top, and it's very expensive. Uh, what do I have here? Thinking of going to okay, Havana Harris. Okay, let me show you how we all how I begin all my videos, and this is months before the trip. I make this a uh, very very elaborate uh, travel plans travel planners and this right here is uh, the the great american road trip of 2016 and this is the one that i'm that i'm showing you because it is the one the the one that is the most um, complete you know is the, the most detailed and as you can see i have uh, every single place that i'm going to go like country music hall of fame uh, Tennessee State Capitol. This is Nashville, for example. Centennial Park, they have a replica of the Parthenon. So I, I started writing and more or less the date when I plan to be there, of course. Yeah, sleep at Mammoth Cape ca Campground. And oh, here's all the re research stuff that I had done for this day. Jack Daniels Distillery, time permitting, obviously that didn't work. A Nashville KOA. And then here we had a sleep at Mammoth Cape a Campground. Here, uh, uh, the next day, I have TBA Louisville because uh, I didn't know exactly where, where I was going to sleep in Louisville at the time that I did the planner. Uh, we just called that KOA in Louisville the night before. And here, Evan Williams Bourbon Experience. Yeah, that didn't happen. None of this. Uh, we, we 
Illinois, drive around, see for car, Capitol building. We just drove around downtown. If you saw that video, you guys have, all of you guys have probably seen the, the Great American Road Trip, right? And, uh, well, you get the point. <laughs> and that's that's uh, the first step. And then, here we are, Final Cut. This is the, the main uh, program, the main software that I use to edit the videos. And here, for example, uh, I have a bunch of stuff here that I haven't edited. But here we're going to have dinner. So I come here. Let's see this uh, scene here. Okay, that's good. We're going to take uh, like two seconds. So in point, I put the I for in point. And Final Cut sometimes has a tendency to, uh, to freeze. And here's the out point. And uh, of course, uh, everything that is not spoken on screen, I have a script. And that script is... Another Word document, which is here. And, uh, of course, this is all the stuff that I'm going to talk about in this video that you haven't seen yet, but all you, you guys are getting a very, very early sneak peek into that video. And here I might say, we don't feel like cooking, so we're going to make... Uh, Mac and cheese, and then of course uh, there's another uh, scene that I want to put next because I decided to spice it up with a little bit of bacon. So in and out, let's do like a couple of seconds. There we go, boom, and uh, all of that goes into the timeline. And uh, here we have oh the bacon a little more cooked. Yeah, let's put down a little bit, and while I'm while I'm talking on top of that. And then uh, this is the mac and she's boiling. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't actually. Yeah, this is good. A little, a, a little, a, you know. I might actually put that in between the two bacons. So it's, uh, as you can see, we have mac and cheese, bacon, bacon, and I mean flame, bacon. And uh, then at the end, uh, we might uh, put the final product. There we go, mac and cheese. Bon appetit. And I'm saying bon appetit. I'm going to leave the, the, the original audio there from the video. <clears throat> and uh, in this portion to the left, I'm going to say, you know, we don't feel like cooking, so we're going to do some mac and cheese with bacon. And, uh, of course, here to the left, I have all my elements. If I want to put some music here, I have my music folder. And uh, let's just uh, do this one. And I could put that uh, uh, underneath my mac and cheese video. And now uh, we got a little bit of, I might not use this. Actually, I'm going to use the, you know the, which music I use? The, the one for the cooking show, which is the music that I did for Quebec City. It's called Au Quebec. But it's the one, you know, that I always put for cooking because I like it. It's jazzy, so. Okay, that, that I leave, and then what I do, I, I lower the volume of the music in that portion. So you can hear me saying, Bon Appetit. Mm, bon Appetit. Actually, I don't let that, mm, so I'm going to play it in. Mm, bon Appetit. There you go. That's, that, that sounds good. Okay, that's in a nutshell my, my editing process. A lot of you have been asking for that. And well, there you have it. Of course, it, it gets a lot more complicated than that. I, I estimate that I... Uh, what happened here? You will come from my from iPad. I estimate that it takes about an hour per minute of video, more or less. Some videos are are um, less complicated, some are more complicated, but that's it. Now, I, what I want to do, I want to answer some of your questions, and if you guys want to have any questions about my editing process as well. Uh, eat bacon for tomorrow with I. Yeah, <laughs> well, I love bacon. <laughs> what can I say? So let me uh, turn around this way and this camera, as you can see, you can see there the, right here, the, the chat, a little bit. And I can uh, chat with you guys this way. Very comfortable for me. Uh, hello, Robert Green from Ocala. Hope to see you soon around here. Well, I, I'm going to drive north uh, in order to see the, that if, if you guys are just joining me, I want to make a road trip to see the foliage. 
so sometime in mid October. So I have to go north, so I have to go through Ocala. I wonder if I can add. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna shoot from the hip here. Video capture device at existing Logitech wide. No, I'm gonna add. Okay, how would that work? There we go. And now I can have. This is a very nice software, by the way. If you, if you, if any of you guys are YouTubers and you wanna do live video. It's called OBS with, uh, I believe it stands for Open Source Broadcast System. Oh. And it's very, very, uh, very cool uh, software. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, the yeah, short answer, yes, I'm, I, 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 at some point I have to go through Ocala to, to get out of Florida unless I go through I 95. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to go through I 75 as I usually do. Uh, have you heard about the end of the world uh, tomorrow? No, no, no one told me about that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made uh, all these plans. <laughs> uh, end of the world. Uh, yay, Robert. Okay, John. Uh, William Storm from uh, Bruges. No, you're not in Bruges yet. You, oh, you're still um, uh, traveling, huh? Uh, howdy, Rob Greens from your Belgian fan, William. Still on holiday in Greece. Man, I want to go to Greece. Uh, but I have to go to Italy first. I haven't been to Italy yet. So waiting for my taxi to drive me to the airport of Chanchania. From where I will fly to Athens and from there to Brussels. I've been to Brussels, but just passing through. I do want to go. I hear that that statue of the little kid peeing is like very, very small. So, but yeah. <laughs> hey, we are going to die tomorrow. We are? Oh, I guess that's... I didn't know. Where have you guys heard about the end of the world tomorrow? Nobody told me that, but then again, I haven't... Uh, been paying much attention to the news. Everything is, um, uh, everything is disasters. You know, there's, there's been this horrible earthquake in Mexico. Of course, a hurricane went through Puerto Rico and destroyed the island. And uh, yeah, it's it's all bad news. I drink bleach. No, don't drink bleach, please. When are you planning this trip? I will mark the day and we'll flag you down like Harvey Montañez. <laughs> Yeah, Eric, uh, mid-October, man, we'll, I'll get in touch, we'll get in touch, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pass by, I'm, I'm thinking actually of, of overnighting at some point at the Clermont uh, Walmart, uh, on the way north, but I don't know, I just ordered an ARPOD 176, ah, congratulations, Grandma Patty, ARPOD 176, which one is that one, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. I put 176. I wish you guys, I wish I could tell you. Okay, I could do it in this same window, right? I put 176, and that way you guys can see it. How's that gonna work? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, you are. But maybe you you don't want to see me. Maybe maybe I should put myself somewhere else. No, that's fine. I'll just I'll just keep it small. I'll make myself very small. How about that? There. Yeah. Tiny little, tiny little traveling Robert. Arpa uh, the one seventy six. <coughs> For it's by Forest River. Yeah, the Arpads. Okay, those are cute. Yes. Uh, how's the how's the floor plan? Does it have like uh, is it comfortable inside? Bunks for kids. All right. Too small. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a. Uh, I, I guess it, it all depends on how much you want to downsize on you. I, I, I don't know if, if, if for full time it, I mean, it, it would be a, be a good choice, but yeah, I mean, my RV is kind of small too. I have uh, my, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's uh, outside, it's, seven, it's 19 feet long, inside is uh, 17. What happened to your 5 p.m. happy hour trip home from your job downtown? You don't work downtown no more? No, I don't. No, I don't. I decided to 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 take the plunge and uh, do video editing for a living. Uh, bunks are forty-two by seventy-four. Oh, that's on the on the R-Pod. Yeah, it looks very nice. So it's uh, R-Pod one uh, one seventy-six with bunks. I wonder if because uh, I went to RV Trader. I, I I wonder if they have another uh, Forest River. No, Forest River doesn't. Here we go. They don't have very good, uh, uh, a very good we a website to do it. <laughs> RVs. Well, anyways, 
Changing the subject. FaceTime with chat. Here I am. <laughs> Pupusas. You know, there's a very nice restaurant. Well, I haven't been in years, but it's called the El Atlacat. And then it's like, uh, what's that door back? Ah, because that everything is very stuck. It's called the Atlacat. It's on uh, on Southwest 8th Street, and I want to say around 30th. 31st Avenue, maybe. And yeah, they're supposed to have the best uh, Salvadoran food in Miami, including pupusas. There's also El Compadre. My stepson orders a lot from El Compadre. It's really good, too. And this is a very good everyday wine for those of you just joining me. Uh, this is uh, a Malbec blend. What's your next trip with Minitini? Well, as I said, I, I, I already mentioned that earlier, but I, I plan to go see the, the full foliage uh, at some uh, at some point in uh, in the middle of. Um, I'm trying to to load a website here. My internet is it feels kind of sluggish today for some reason, and the idea is to go see the the, the full foliage. Uh, uh, some somewhere, I need reloaded somewhere in mid October, so it's going to be probably North Georgia or the, or, or the Carolinas. I don't know yet. I don't know exactly. It could be Tennessee as well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna play by ear. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, go to Vermont. It, yeah, Vermont. If if I were living right now, it, it, the Vermont would be awesome, but. By the time, by, by mid-October, which is when I'm planning to do this trip, Vermont is already past peak. Apparently, Vermont is going to, is going to be peaking when? Probably, probably late September, right? Let me show you the map. That's uh, September 24th, and Vermont looks like the middle of Vermont is peaking. Let's see the week of September 17. That's that Vermont will be peaking. No, not really. It's late September. But I am going to do this, as I said, in, in, in mid October. Uh, if, let me know if you come to North Dakota. Well, next year we're going to do the, beet, the sugar beet harvest. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it, 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 you make decent money, but uh, uh, Southern Vermont won't be past peak in mid October. Robert Morales is the embodiment of God and Ronald Reagan on this earth. Well, I don't know about that, Edward. <laughs> Hello from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, sugar maples are spectacular. Yes, Grandma uh, Patty. I, 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 it's not gonna happen this year, but next year for sure. I wanna, I wanna visit all the all the northeastern states. I'm getting a text message here. Shipped your Amazon package with uh, yeah you know yesterday I, we lost power for like uh, two seconds and all my hard drives crashed uh, my 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 project got, got corrupted it was a big ordeal and um, and I ordered a UPS uh, you know uninterrupted power supply so it's coming uh, it's going to be delivered Wednesday blah, blah, blah. yeah I got this this fancy clock watch it's a uh, it's um. Fitbit, Fitbit. Uh, good for you answering some of the cooks, Robert. Yeah, I answer everybody. Unless, you know, unless it's uh, something like disrespectful, I, I answer all the questions. And um, very happy here. By the way, um, this Sunday's video is the last uh, video for now that I'm going to have a sponsor. Uh, Rad Power Bikes is not going to continue now for fourth quarter, so. You're going to get one less commercial in my videos. And uh, I'm thinking of also if, if uh, I don't get a sponsor that, that requires me to, to do the podcast every week, I might move the podcast to a monthly cycle. And uh, so I can give you a, a, you know, a better quality podcast, you know, do more research, have something a little more um, rehearsed, if you will. So those are the changes that are, that are coming to my, to my channel here. And... Uh, Hopefully, I'm contacting other uh, sponsors to see if I can get another sponsor and that will uh, 
you know, replace the, the, the loss of income that I'm, that I'm having here. Uh, when I went to Vermont, it was like August of 95 and the temps are, were great. 95, man. We were in our 20s in 95, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I was uh, 24, 20, what year was that? 24 in 95. And um, I hadn't traveled there uh, really, pretty much, not, not nowhere really. I was going to college. You have a live chat screen on your YouTube screen that is blocking a quarter of your YouTube screen out. On your right and my left side. Yeah, I have, I have a little, um, I mean, I could take it out if it bothers uh, you guys, but I wanted to keep it there. Is it, is it, is it blocking like that much of the screen? Because I wanted to keep it there because all this chat disappears uh, for, 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 uh, for some reason. And, uh, um, okay, I don't like the profanity in my channel, so. Hold on a second, can I uh, remove? There. Uh, and I totally lost my train of thought. Yeah, that's the, the the thing is that this chat disappears after after the fact that I wanted to keep it there to, to, to give you guys context so so we know who is uh, uh, you know where the where the questions are coming from. Speaking of Montañez, uh, Montañez, any news about your landscape? Hi from Charleston, South Carolina. I love the Charleston. Let wait wait till you see that video that I made uh, in your city. A beautiful, beautiful town, and um, that's going to come out okay, this Sunday. Is a video called "It's about the, the the land between the lakes." The following Sunday, we're lost in Tennessee. The Sunday after that is uh, Asheville. Then it's uh, I got a uh, which 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 I did with uh, my friend Brian. He he's uh, he's the RV illustrated, and he also moderates the motor the Thor Motorhome Group on Facebook, and. Uh, Charlotte, we, 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 we toured the Charlotte, North Carolina, and then the video after that is going to be uh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And when I finish uh, all that, uh, sorry about the profile, it's okay, man. So much respect for your channel. Do you work full time besides traveling? It's like 40 hours, like 40 plus hours a week. I used to, I, I did it for many, many years, and uh, the thing, I, I would I come home from work tired and then I would spend a couple of hours uh, doing video or editing or doing something because this is what I really uh, want, want to do in, in life, you know, make movies uh, and um, tell stories. And uh, I decided to, to start doing this full time and uh, try to grow it into a business as much as possible as long as I can sustain myself. And... Uh, and of course, I'm not, not always going to live here in Miami. Life in Miami is very expensive. And uh, eventually, we want to do this uh, full time. And uh, with, with, uh, with two on the road incomes, uh, we can do it. Thank you for your videos. My wife and I are currently binge watching them. Well, thank you very much. That's, thank you very much. There's a lot of stuff uh, there on the. Uh, the large catalog, my of course, my favorite is the Four Corners, you know, the the, the Wild West video, which I'm going to repackage in one of these days. I'm going to get it subtitled, and I'm going to start uh, putting my videos on Amazon, too. There's something called the uh, Amazon Direct, or uh, I believe it's called the uh, Amazon Video Direct. And, um, you know, maybe you guys with Amazon Prime can watch them on, on your TVs. That's another project that I have going and something fell here. Oh it's the card. That's the whole trip right there. The whole trip to see the solar eclipse and back. Okay, there we go. A prime member with Amazon here too. Doing video editing is a very time consuming and challenging. Keep content excited at each upload like um you mentioned one minute is about an hour time. Yeah sometimes you know Sometimes it is uh, simpler, uh, especially if I talk on camera a lot, you know, with my selfie stick talking on the camera. That's stuff that I don't have to voice over. And uh, as, as, I, as I showed you at the beginning of the, of the video, when, when I edit, 
I um, well, whatever I don't speak on camera, I have I voice over it, and this is uh, actually the script from my latest uh, video. This one you have, you guys haven't seen yet. And uh, it's uh, it's two pages. It's called uh, uh, Lost in Tennessee. That's what I'm gonna call it because we don't really go anywhere. It's one of those um, videos about nothing. It's just a trip. The, it's, it's more the, the journey and less the destination. Yes, come west. Let us know. Yes. Well, the, the, the one plan that I have, I want to go to VidCon, which happens in Los Angeles, in Anaheim. Actually. Excuse me. Happens in Anaheim. And I want to do that next uh, June. And it's going to be a cross-country trip, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass by by some of those places. I'll, I'll probably go that way. I'll take I-10 west, and then I'll come back a little further north. I don't know. Not yet. So, what were you saying? Very informative. I learned so much. Uh, thank you, Carl. Go west. Leave them humidity. E even here, I mean, the, the only decent uh, month humidity-wise that we have here in, in Miami is probably February. And... Uh, it's, you know, that month. Let me get this camera a little closer. It's that month that we get to the blue skies. And uh, there, that looks good. We, you, you, we get the, the blue skies and, uh, and and the temperatures in the 70s. Uh, the rest of the year is kind of miserable. <laughs> Here. It's very hot. And uh, I mean, I got, I got power very quickly after the hurricane. But those poor people that were uh, actually... I just saw on Facebook a friend of mine. She's still without power, and it's it's been what, and more than ten days from the hurricane, and I cannot imagine. You have, you have to. I mean, these Miami homes are not made to be without air conditioning. But back in way back in the day, yeah, I'm sure they had like like more windows, like well, like the apartment where I grew up in Cuba. We had similar temperatures, and uh, we didn't have AC. <coughs> Okay, football squad, where are my eyes? Okay, no. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, my husband, Robbie, and I just got our first rig and wanted to know if you consider doing the lower 48 tour on online in 90 days. It's called the most efficient route to the lower 48. I don't know if I want to do a, a trip <clears throat> as rushed as that. I'm, uh, I want to do the lower 48 before I turn 48 and I'm running out of time. But, uh, yeah, I've seen that map, like the most efficient route. I'll probably take a year to do the, the lower 48. I mean, I might do it someday. But I, I've seen, like, 24 states. I, I, I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly how many states I've seen. So I really have the 20, about 25 or less left. Because uh, I already have Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, I'll do. I'll. I'll go some some day. But of course, you're gonna drive there. <clears throat> they are there. Yeah, Puerto Rico has no power anywhere. Uh, Grandma Patty. Yeah, <coughs> I heard. And uh, that's not good. A lot of destruction. And when, when when a hurricane hits you like that, you know the the bullseye goes through through the island or through, through where you are. It's it's total devastation. You need the Travel Channel to sponsor you. Hey, Jose Piedra, uh, give him a call, man. I, I, I'm, I'm looking for, for an agent, if you will. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, we, uh, I don't know, although when, once you get uh, on, uh, on TV, the, it's, 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 uh, I don't have the, the editorial freedom that I have right now. Uh, Joe Infante, saludos from Kendall. Cheers, you and your family. Happy hour, uh, happy Friday. Hope you see see you on the road someday. I still work close to your old downtown job. All right, so you work in downtown Miami. That's cool. I mean, the, 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 the thing that I hated most about that job, actually, that job wasn't it was it was an, an easy an easy gig really. In many ways, it's, it was the commute, the drive. I, I was getting like. I was getting almost a nervous breakdown driving every day to Miami, and uh, and then, yeah, and it was a short commute, but it was still stressful. And there is so much construction in that area in downtown. 
and it is incredible. Okay, let me let me take a look here because I'm just looking at myself for some reason. Let me see one thing real quick here. Live dashboard. We have 43 people watching and we've been on for what 34 minutes. Have you thought about moving your home away from Miami? Yes, I have uh, thought about it uh, many times. Thank you, Eric. Uh, I've been, yeah, eventually. I mean, there's something Miami's. Uh, I, I, I've lived here for almost three years, so I, I, in some, uh, like, you know, the, the the Stockholm syndrome or whatever it's called. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with this city, but this is always going to, going to be home. Home. I mean, let's let's face it. I've lived here for for thirty years of my life, and I might not live thirty more years. So I, I don't think I'm going to live as long as I've lived here anywhere else. Let's put it that way. As uh, as for places that I've liked, I really love the people of Kentucky and Tennessee. I really like that, you know, it's, it's uh, to use a, a term, it's America, you know, it's that, that, uh, um, uh, the, the epitome of that, uh, that United States that you have uh, in your head, that, like, like the, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to express it, really, it's that, uh, and I like the, I, I like the people, I like the people of, of Georgia, too, I, I, I mean, those are the states that I've been through. I don't know if I would like to live in a place like New York, for example. That that, that, that for that I, I stay in Miami, and it's just as stressful. Or, <laughs> and um, I don't know out west. It's it's beautiful, but, it, but perhaps a little too desolate. I don't know. I haven't been long enough. Maybe maybe when I when I visit Arizona for real, maybe I'll love it. Uh, I, I love the mountains. I love Colorado. I love uh, Denver. I, is, I think it's a very, very nice uh, city. And since I've always lived in flatlands, when I see a mountain, I'm like, oh my God, a mountain! <coughs> because that's the way it is. You know, you crave what you don't have. Maybe somebody in, in Kansas will have the same uh, reaction when they see the ocean. You know. Uh, let me read a couple of uh, comments here. Uh, Uptown, uh, hey Robert, love all the videos. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello from the Northwest. You know, that's an, another area that I've never been. I, want, I, I do want to visit, visit Washington. And we all, I, I'm sure 90% of you watch uh, uh, Eric Jacobs, Mr. Eric Jacobs. And he, he's, he's shown very be beautiful views of, of that area. You know, that is his area. And, um, and I do want to uh, see Washington and Oregon. And uh, I want to do the whole West Coast. And, and eventually I want to also do the... The Lewis and Clark uh, Trail. I want to do Route 66. I want to do the loneliest road, which is this road that goes north and south and then goes really to nowhere. But it, you know, it's it's. Uh, and uh, I do want to do uh, the East Coast uh, of Florida. I want to do A1A all the way from Miami Beach to to Jacksonville or to uh, what's the name? Uh, Fernandina is it? Uh, I forgot the name. I have my Google Map here, but I don't want to use it. Anyway, in your earlier videos, you used to sing Spanish, the Cuba videos. Will you also sing in your future music, or is it only instrumental? No, I, I do. I, I am going to sing, but uh, since all this music that I'm doing is really a background for, for the videos, and I'm usually talking uh, on top of the music, uh, that's why mostly the music is intr instrumental. But yeah, I plan to do a longer version of writing with my RV. I'm, I'm working on some lyrics, but I, I, I'm... For some reason, I'm getting writer's block. You know, nothing really uh, coming out. But um, and I don't want to. I don't want to fall into the the cliches. You know, from the coast to the coast, or from the mountains to the prairies, or whatever. You know. So um, I'm thinking of moving to, to Fort Lauderdale from New York in the next two years. Fort Lauderdale is very nice. It's uh, it's the same climate as Miami. It's just a different, a little bit different. Uh, uh, it's more organized than Miami. It's a little smaller, of course, uh, as well. But uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, the, the beach, the area is very nice. I used to drive to Fort Lauderdale when I was uh, young to, to, to go clubbing at Fort Lauderdale Beach, believe it or not. 
Probably moving from a big city like New York to Fort Lauderdale, a uh, good move, but the area is kind of expensive as well. Yeah, I agree, Eric. The Fort, Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale is as expensive as Miami, I would say. Uh, Tennessee is a nice state, but you being RV, go full-time RVing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I would, I would. Uh, the idea is to full time RV, but I would, I would spend uh, uh, probably a good chunk of time in in, in Tennessee when I uh, start uh, full timing. When I start full timing, Joe Infante, Robert, my wife, my wife wants to know if you are still playing some of your awesome music in town to see and support you. Mm. Not really. I've been, I've been doing a couple of private parties, but the thing with uh, playing at, and you know, and, and you know what? Even though it might look better, I'm gonna turn off these lights because those are halogen lights, and the heat is killing me. Uh, can you see me well? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see myself and see if. I, well, it's not as good. I'll just change cameras and I'll talk to you guys through this one. How about that? Okay, let me go here. Uh, Tennessee, okay, okay. Uh, da, 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 in town, I suppose. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm not really playing anywhere lately. I did the restaurant, but then, you know, I had to be there every single weekend. And then when, when do you go travel, you know? Here I thought the Dalton Highway was the loneliest road. Well, that might be true, Eric, um, but uh, yeah, it's not really as lonely because you get a lot of truckers on that Dalton Highway, uh, up and down, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's more trucks than cars for sure. Uh, dear Rubber, we love your videos, greeting from Austria and Serbia. Uh, we have a lot of mountains, mountains here, visit us, uh, Vesna and Stefan. Yes, definitely, definitely want to visit Central Europe and Austria, Serbia, uh, you know, the whole, the, the whole area of the Balkans, uh, definitely. But I don't know when. Did Minitini do okay in the storm? Yes, uh, the only thing that broke was uh, one of the outside speakers and I fixed it with crazy glue. So I, I, I think it's, it's going to hold up just fine. Um, hey, Gosa, Gosa, I miss you, Uncle Robert. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing, I'm doing really, really good. Hello from Staten Island. Used to live in in, in Newport. Uh, hey, thank you very much. Happy Friday, uh, MF uh, MFH Airstream. Thank you very much for that super chat. That's awesome. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, used to live in Newport, Richie, a few years back. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I just drove through Staten Island at one point. I do want to go to New York. I love, I love New York, like, to visit. I don't know if I would like to live there, but definitely I would love to, to visit. And, and, um, I think I'm, if I go, I'm going to stay at that. Oh, there's a, there's a little fly in here. Uh, you know, Wasasa, you know, one of those little bugs that usually are in the bathroom? It's somewhere around. It's flying around me. What, what do you want from me? Just go away. <laughs> And I want to stay at Liberty Harbor, uh, which is the RV park right there, right, right across the across the river, across the Houston River, on the Jersey side. But then there's also an, an, another place where you can boom dock is by an airport. It's on the, by by Long Island, I think. That's uh, somebody stayed there. I forgot. I forgot who. Nomadic fanatic, of course, boom docked in the middle of the city, but, but I, I cannot do that. <laughs> Yeah, Eric, that's what a super chat is. It's very, very cool. Hi, Robert. And my wife went to, went to uh, Blairsville and Braston Bald. Braston Bald, that's the, the highest point in the whole state of Florida. I mean, of Georgia. I might go there now or next month. It's one of the places that I have on my list. A beautiful scenes, panoramic view in Braston Bald. A lot of fall trees, I recommend. Yes. That's, uh, like, may let me show you. Here, can I show you? I wonder if I can show you. I would have to open my other window, the one that has the, the full foliage. And let me show you this screen right here. Hold on. Zoom out. 
Let me show you. I, I love being able to show you my screens. Here we go. And uh, and uh, now this this camera. Okay, it's a little dark. I'm sorry about that. Um, but oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops, no, I cannot undo. Oh wait. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. So this is Florida. All those yellow stars that you see on the map, those are places either that I have saved uh, to visit or or that I have saved for some reason. And here in northern Georgia, and I like to use my the, the, the satellite view for some reason. Here in northern Georgia, I have a couple of uh, stars. I have Helen, of course. This river band, I have no idea why I put that there, but someone recommended it, obviously. And uh, still loading, of course. And the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail, that's some, somewhere else that I want to go. This is uh, uh, Jaymor Farms. Uh, our family in, in, in Atlanta has uh, recommended that place. And Braston Bald should have a star. And now it doesn't. I don't know why. There is somewhere up here in northern uh, Georgia. So, well, that, that, that's, that's one of the places. Georgia's uh, the tallest mountain. You see, sometimes uh, they show up and sometimes they don't. Brass And, um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, one of the places that I'm going. And uh, you'll see that video later on. Okay, let me see the chat. I want to see a large here. Live dashboard. Here we go. Uh, first uh, place I want to drive uh, to is Key West and see uh, that your favorite place to explore in many videos that you post. Man, as soon as Key West opens up, uh, I'm going to go down there and that bug keeps bugging me. <laughs> and um, actually, in, in, in late uh, October, it's Fantasy Fest. And uh, I'm going to call every single campground. I already called the Boyd's uh, campground, which is one, one of my favorite ones down there, and they're fully booked. Uh, they, but the, uh, Key West is expected to reopen for business uh, by that time. And I don't know why this is Hurricane Irma. This is weird. Anyways. Key West may be a delay. Uh, most of Naples, Everglades, and Key West are still out of power, sadly. Yeah, yeah Key West. But... If I cannot find any campground for for uh, October Fest, no, uh, Fantasy Fest, I'm just going to make it a day trip. I'm just going to leave early. I'm like three hours away. That day traffic is probably going to be bad. But I'll, I'll leave like around 6 a.m. probably, be there 9, 10, spend the day, and uh, by nightfall, you know, return to Miami. That's the, that's the plan if I, don't, if I cannot find any campground or any type of lodging. Lodging is going to be super expensive. Last time I was there for Fantasy Fest, and we arrived and we didn't know it was Fantasy Fest. There was a place, like, and really far away, charging for parking $60 uh, for the day, which is kind of steep. Thank you for the videos. Hope you are doing well post hurricane. Yeah, here in Miami, you know, the, there's, there's still like fallen trees all over the place in the street, but things are, for the most part, back to normal. Publix still didn't have everything. There are some items uh, missing. You know, they're, they're, you can tell that they're restocking slowly but surely. Hey, open this website and open in trailer uh, rack. This is the rack I was telling you about. Show the people the ice ice rack. E trailer. Nanthahala National Forest. There is a Tale of the Dragon. Did you drive this road? No, I haven't driven it yet. But I've heard of it. And uh, that's why I, that, that's one of the reasons that I want to have a short RV eventually when, when we get rid of the, the travel trailer and move, move up to a B or a B plus. I want to have something short so I could drive on all these roads. Uh, yeah, and Eric had the same uh, thought that I had. Uh, but yeah. I want, that's why I want to be under 23, probably, and 23 feet long, that's the, 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 the longest I want to do. But I could park the RV somewhere and then do the tail of the dragon. Let me see, where's the tail of the dragon? I want to... No, is this it? Yes, this is it. Oh, 
as you can see I have a star there already hmm, maybe I'll do tail of the dragon this is that it in Robbinsville North Carolina all right that cannot be right Oh yeah, this is probably it. You know what? I'm gonna be kind of close. I might do it. I might add it to my travel plan for that uh, trip. <laughs> thank you, thank you all, 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 just so much always for all, for all your suggestions because a lot of the times that's what I use uh, to do my research when we went to on our the, on the road trip to Chicago. I didn't know about the Indiana Jones State Park and I found out through somebody that co commented on. Them one of the videos on it. so I stopped I stopped by and uh, that's how I found it uh, did the hurricane spring a leak in your roof no but it, it uh, you know I yesterday I, I flew the drone around my roof to see how it was and it did crack one tile and there are some roof tiles missing on another part but I think that, that, that it was always like that I have to but yeah I have to get that fixed but I didn't want to climb on the roof so I just flew the drone uh, over your roof and, 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 and inspected it. Uh, Robert, is there a store uh, lodging that is... Oh, that's a store, they're not the actual road. Okay, thank you, Eric. <laughs> but, uh, so you know, you're not only inspired me to get an RV, yes, a 1706, but my sister just got a fifth wheel this week. Great videos, Robert. As always, look forward to this Friday live chats. Thank you very much, Jerbear. Jerbear. Bear. And I'm glad uh, that, that uh, you got uh, into the RV lifestyle, please. Uh, there's a water stain in your ceiling behind you. Yeah, that's old. Can you see that water stain? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, there is, there is, yeah, that, that water stain is from Hurricane Katrina, believe it or not, in 2005. And... Um, I never fixed it. <laughs> Tale of the Dragon. Okay, here we go. We have a open link in new tab. Thank you. Sherohala uh, Skyway is more RV friendly. Right by T O T D. Tale of the Dragon. Okay. Sherohala Skyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to my map too. Because you know I'm always looking for places to visit. That's in Tennessee. Okay. I put a, already put a star. Okay. I'm getting hungry, guys. So I'm going to uh, end the video here soon because I uh, I have to cook some ropa vieja and then uh, I'll eat it and finish my wine. So, as we are approaching here, the... The, the one hour mark. Hey, current travels. You're late, man. <laughs> Are being illustrated. The name of this video is inappropriate. LOL. Yeah, well, I was I was talking about how the sausage is made, how the, um, <laughs> you know, how I make uh, the videos at the beginning. And, uh, and that's why I chose that name. You have a dirty mind, my friend. Hey, Robert, love your videos. Where do you plan to travel next? Uh, well, as I mentioned, uh, you, pro you probably just arrived. I uh, I plan to go north and see the full foliage, probably somewhere uh, in northern Georgia or Tennessee or the Carolinas. Don't know exactly yet. All right, everybody. I, uh, it's been real, real fun uh, uh, chatting with you guys here, hanging out like every Friday. And uh, this Sunday, we're going to have a video. And let me change cameras here because, you know, I, I, I'm using this very uh, low-quality camera that came with, uh, with a MacBook. But I have this uh, Logitech. Finally arrived late, but arrived. Um, uh, current travels. Uh, everybody okay in Puerto Rico? Current travels? I know you have family there, I think. Uh, are you going to do more live videos? Live videos every Friday is at 6 p.m. And right now it's at 2200 UTC for those outside the United States. 
and uh, I was going to mention something else, and I forgot. Um, well, as I said, let me turn and turn the slides back on. Even though it, it, it makes the room a little hot, in video lighting is everything, like in photography. So, um, good evening, my friend. Take care, man. You're leaving, and I just got here. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry, I missed you. I was able to talk to them Wednesday. Thanks for asking. No problem, man. I know. I know. It's uh, it's been one of the worst uh, hurricanes to hit the the island in, uh, in in modern history. So, but you know, the, the, they'll they'll recuperate and hopefully. They'll build a better infrastructure now that they're rebuilding everything. And uh, hopefully they will. In, in, we're talking about Puerto Rico, La Isla del Encanto. From Moorhead, Minnesota. Thanks for the videos. You're welcome. You know, I was, I was going to leave and, uh, and uh, I keep getting questions. Oh, wait. Did you get that? But I need a, you need a light diffuser. I have a light diffuser. I'm, I'm just too lazy to put on. I have this thing that I bought, and that's that's the filter to make the the temperature the same uh, temperature as uh, as the lighting in here. But it's too bright. I'm gonna have to use a manual mode if I if I use this in here or put it further away. Oh my God! It just went by. It was it was very handy during the hurricane. That's a flashlight. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Have a, oh wait, you did get that. Well, nearly light if you. La la. Um, I'm really discombobulated here, guys. It's uh, we've been chatting for almost an hour here, and uh, I was going to mention this Sunday we're gonna have an, a brand new video about an area that I didn't know until last month, the Kentucky Lakes, and we just drove uh, drove around, you know, Lake Barkley and Kentucky Lake and the land between the lakes and all that area, and we didn't see a lot because I, I didn't have anything planned, so we just drove around and we, we you know we we took it as as it went and. We we liked it a lot. I like the town of Paducah a lot, actually, at the west, western, western tip of uh, Kentucky. And um, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> to lower the light brightness. I love mountain views. And then the, the video after that, of course, with we the, the idea was to go uh, to Arkansas and then to uh, Texas, and I'm glad we didn't because they got hurt in Harvey. So it was very serendipitous, that, serendipitous that we decided to turn back. But that, those are the future videos. Uh, the the podcast is probably going to go into a, a once a month now that I don't have a sponsor. And uh, as always, I'm here. Uh, check out my Patreon, patreoncom slash robert I have a, a, a bunch of people there already uh, supporting uh, the work that I do, and they get a few perks like early release versions of the videos or deleted scenes. I'm gonna work on the deleted scenes by the way. And uh, free ringtone and all that, all that good stuff. So check it out, patreoncom slash robert And until the next time, thank you so much for watching, and see you on the road. And let me see if this works. If it doesn't work. Work in progress. This, uh, this uh, software. But anyways, until the next time, I'm writing. Oh, I forgot the chords. Writing with my RV wherever I wanna be, cause I'm free in my RV. I'm writing, writing with my RV wherever I want. To Cause I'm free in my RV. Bye guys. See you on the road.